Hello there, Kalina from Innovative Fitness coming at you today with a 30 minute core workout. Now, all you're gonna need is a space on the floor, preferably if you do have a mat, will be a little bit more comfortable, but you don't need it. Only body weight is gonna be used today. If you do have equipment, such as dumbbells or resistance bands, you can add them into some of these exercises, but you do not need them. Body weight is all we need. Now, because we're gonna be down on the mat the entire time, get comfortable, move at your own pace. Most of our exercises today will be based off of repetitions. The only time we're gonna be adding in a timed interval is when we get to our variations of a plank. So we're gonna be doing three separate blocks. Each block is gonna have three exercises in it, okay? And there will be a variation, like I said, of a plank in each one. So come on down with me. We're gonna get started right away here. And know that as I go through my reps or my timed intervals, you're going at your own pace, okay? I'll give you lots of options as we go through, but if you need to cut your reps short, or hey, maybe you get a few in extra than me, or if you need to cut your intervals a little shorter or make them longer than mine, by all means, make this your own. It's only 30 minutes. 30 minutes is a lot on the core, but it's nothing that we can't do together. So we will be warming up the core to start. We're not just gonna jump right into anything crazy. We're gonna start with a dead bug. Now a dead bug can typically be done incorrectly, whereas if you feel like you can do this exercise for a minute or more, there's a good chance that we're not actually using our core, we're using too much of our back. So come on down to the mat with me. We are going to bring our legs into that tabletop position. My knees to my heels are in a nice straight line and then my arms are pressing against the mat with my fingers to the sky. Now, there will be coordination involved here, but first off, I wanna make sure that our back is glued down to the mat. So imagine that I'm coming up to you and I'm about to grab your stomach and you are flexing to protect yourself. I want that feeling right there, okay? We still need to breathe, but from here, I'm going to extend my opposite arm to my opposite leg without dropping to the floor and bringing it back up with control. I extend and I bring in. I need to move slow with purpose. Now, a couple things. We are going for 12 of these. If you've come to one of my home workouts before, you know sometimes I don't count the reps accurately and you may do more than less. And that's all in good fun. Now, if you have tight hip flexors, I know a common feel here is that our hips click. And guess what? I have mine clicking slightly on my left. It is common for me and I've been making sure that I've been foam rolling those hip flexors and doing extra hip flexor stretches, which we will do today. I'm really happy it's not happening in my right anymore, but glue that lower back down. Extend, bring in. We're gonna go for one more each side just to keep warming up a little more. Bring it in, other side, and done. Drop the legs down, drop the arms down. Another option for that one, if you felt like the coordination was getting the best of you, you can just go for one arm, one leg, the other arm, and the other leg. Really let that brain do the work a little bit today for us. So we're gonna flip over next and we're essentially doing the opposite. We're going into a bird dog. Back to the tabletop. Now I'm going to extend the opposite arm to opposite leg and my stabilizers are gonna be the opposite hand to the opposite knee. So I'm pushing through those two so that I can stabilize and bring my arm and leg up to a nice flat back, flat line, and join them to the floor together. We reach up to extend, reach, reach, reach. How much space can we create between our toe and our fingertip? And bring it back in. Now, as you reach forward, I don't want all that weight going into that hip that's supporting you. Use the weight over the hand to help as well. And don't forget to breathe. That's gonna be the most important cue today, especially when we're working through our core. We, for some reason, just love to hold our breath, which of, of course we know just makes everything so much harder. Give me four, bring it in, three, 
Bring it in. Two, two, neutral spine, done. All right, first two, and we are gonna start out with our first plank. We are doing a high plank on our hands. This will be for a 45 second interval. Take it at your own pace. We're gonna pop up in three, two, one. Widen the feet slightly, straighten the legs, flat back, and hold, and breathe. And if this doesn't feel comfortable for you, you can always go down onto your forearms. Maybe you wanna be in a kneeling stance with your hips slightly forward, not pushing back. Remember, we are still warming up. You're like, what? Plank is a warm up. Remember, we only got 30 minutes. <laughs> Six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop it down. Okay, let's flip over and we're gonna do that same thing two more times. Now we're gonna move a little quicker this time. We're gonna get through this first full set because each set after this is gonna get a little more challenging. Come on down. Now if you have light, light dumbbells that you wanna add to the sequence, you can. Again, you do not need to. If you have a stability ball, you can place the ball between your knees and your hands, like a little anchor point between the two ends and try and keep the ball in position. Here we go, back down and extend. And remember, I'm gonna give you the assisted version here where I'm just gonna go for one arm, opposite leg, one arm, opposite leg. You choose. Open and close. Lower back down, guys. Keep breathing. Six. Five. Four. Three. Back down, back down. Two. Can I see through you? One. And drop. Nice. Bring it up. Flip it around, back to our bird dog. Hands on the floor. Ready? Opposite hand to foot again. Reach and bring in. Stabilize, use that hand. Don't sink into that hip and slightly bring your weight forward. Five, neutral spine, I'm looking towards the top of my mat. Three, two, and one. Get ready for that plank. On your hands, we are going in three, two, one. Pop it up, hold, everything straight, flat back. If you can see yourself in any sort of reflection, Check yourself out. See how you're looking. If not, just self-analyze. How are we feeling? No pain in the back. Shoulders might get a little tired first. And 15 seconds remaining. I can kind of see my form here. Checking my timer. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop. One more time, guys. Right into it, and then we'll take a little quick breather before we move on. Legs are up, arms are up. Three, two, lower back down. Here we go. One, two, God, go and focus on that back. Remember, I'd rather you move slower than faster. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it in. Flip it over. Bird dog. Reset. Any hand doesn't matter. Three. Two, one, solid surface before we start. Two, 
seam, sorry, opposite side, leaving the floor and coming down to the floor at the same time. So I don't want to drop, drop, raise, raise. I want them moving together. Let's go for four, three, two, and one. Last one, guys. Here's our plank before a quick little breather. Up onto the hands, five, four, three, two, one, bring it up. Here we go. Now this is our last high plank today. High plank, we do have others to come. Everything is working here. Our entire body, not just our core, is working in a plank. We're feeling it through our legs, we're feeling it through our arms, through our shoulders. Make sure our weight is not back. We wanna stay over the hands. And we breathe, 15 seconds. Nice widespread fingers to spread out our base of support. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Push it back into child's pose. And I'm gonna give you a 30 second breather here. And we're coming right back down to our back. So that was our first set. We have two more. Two more sets of three. Our next one is a reverse crunch. We're gonna work opposite hand to foot reaches or taps. And then we have our side planks, okay? So here we go, start right into it. My first option is I'm gonna stay flat on the ground. I'm gonna bring my knees into my chest and then tap my toes down. Okay, so more my upper abdominal muscles are working here. Option two, we bring them together to connect at the top and then tap the toes down. Come and join me for 12. Breathing in, breathing out. Good. You can almost call this a double crunch here. Unless you're keeping the back down and you're just working the legs. You should not feel too much strain in the neck, even though the neck muscles are working. We want this feeling through our center more. Four, three, two, and one. Release. Number two, nice wide stance between the arms and the legs. This is your first option. I am connecting my opposite hand to foot with a slight rotation to reach. Option two, I can bring it into a semi crunch. And then option three, I'm bringing it all the way to the top. Come join me for your option. Come join me. I'm counting this as four. Take it at your own pace. If you are going into the full sit up, you might not place your hands as high above your head. Let's go for six. Five. Four, leave the ground, come down to the ground together. Three, two, two, one, done. Yes. Last one, 30 second side plank, 30 second side plank. We're gonna start on one side, giving you the options again. Knee can be supported down on the floor or feet can be stacked. Here we go. Option one, knee is bent, leg is straight, hips are tucked, glutes are tucked underneath, hips are forward, stabilizing through our shoulder. Pop it up, here we go. You know your other option. Keep going, find your level. Holding, 30 seconds. Now, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna try and get you to transfer to the other side without dropping down. Of course, if you need to drop down by all means, but try and get back up on the other side as quickly as you can. Opening up the chest, we're now working through that side body. Six, five, four, three, stay up. Watch me as I come in and as I come out. And we hold, everything is locked and loaded. 
pushing away from the mat, not letting ourselves sink into that shoulder. That doesn't feel fantastic. 15 seconds. Ten seconds. Don't let the head drop. Four, three, two, one. Drop it and bring it back down. Two more sets of this. Back to our reverse crunch option, either flat on the back or connecting in the center for 12. Three, two, one. In, toes tap down. In, toes tap down. Breathing, breathing, breathing out as I come in, six, open the arms wide so we're not pulling on the neck too much, good, four, tap, three, chin to the sky, two, one, release. Arms and legs down. How's our core feeling? Arms are out. Either option one, keep it down. Option two, crunch it up. Option three, sit it up. And you choose how fast you're moving. Bringing it up, here we go. I'm counting that as two reps. Five, Remember, we're lowering at the same time. Let's not rush through this because we typically like to rush through it to get it over with. Four. Three. Two. One. Yes. Up we go back to that side plank. Pick a side, any side. Same rules apply as before. I'm going to start you off with assisted version in three, two, one. Pop it up. Beautiful. Holding and breathing. Keeping an eye on our timer. Creating that length between the hand that's elevated and the elbow. Remember our rules to transfer over to the other side. In four, three, two, here we go. I'm gonna give you the other option here. Timer doesn't stop. Hips are up. What do we got left? Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop. Here we go. Last time with this. Bring it to your back. You take a break after this. You know what to do. Third time's a charm. Three, two, one. In to tap. Breathe. Halfway. Got it, we got it, right? Four, three, back down. Two, and one. Yes, those elbows like to close in as we go. We're fighting to keep everything open. Options, one, two, three, in three, two, one. Bring it up. Breathe out. Halfway. Last four. Three. Two. One. Last one. Side plank. Flip it. Make sure my timer's set. Four. Three. Two. One. Bring it up last minute total of our side planks and then we only have one set left guys that went so fast one less set of three exercises focusing a bit more on our rotation ten 
four, three, two, one. Bring it in, bring it up, and hold. Last side plank of the day. Looking, oh yeah. Ten. Fight through. Five, four, three, two, one. Push back into that child's pose again. And we are almost there, guys. Take this as your last break of the day, of the morning, or the afternoon, or the evening, whenever you're seeing this. We got 10 minutes. So, we are going into a windshield wiper, a jackknife, and our final plank hip dip. So it's a lot of that rotation, right? So as I go into number one, you have two options here. I'm gonna angle myself slightly. We are having our hands to our side, okay? My knees are lined up with my hips, and I'm gonna dip myself from side to side, okay? I'm going to dip my legs to the left, pull to the center, dip my hips to the right, and pull to the center. Now I'm only going as low as I can get back up, and I'm not allowing my shoulders to leave the floor. Okay, let's do it. Option two, legs are straight. Do not let those shoulders leave the floor. Please don't go too deep, okay? I am showing you the first option. Low to the center. Low to the center. Low to the center. Good. Side, side. Six more. Pull, working those obliques. Four, center, three, center, two, two, one, one. Lower down. Jackknife. Here's your second coordination based exercise. I am going to be pushing through my left hand and my right foot okay opposite opposite these arms these arms my right arm and my right leg is extended okay we're trying to connect these so i'm going to push up to reach and i'm going to extend then my opposite pick up to reach and i extend okay opposite press don't worry if you aren't getting it because we have two more times to practice, okay? Open, put your left leg in. Oh, I messed it up. Right leg in, press. Look at me, I know what I'm doing. Open, left leg in. Right leg in. Left leg in. Two more. Right leg in. Push. Last one. Done. That was a fun little treat. Hopefully you got the coordination better than I did halfway. Opposite to opposite. We are pushing through our triceps, our shoulders, our glutes, and still getting that rotation reach. Okay? Last one, guys. We're going back to our plank and we are going into our hip dips. So, forearms this time, not our hands. I'm gonna be dipping my hips from left to right. We're only gonna go for 30 seconds here. Three, two, one, pop it up. And I am shifting through my feet. Hopefully you don't have a slippery surface. And if you do, just walk your feet in every couple reps. Mine's a little slippery. Dip, dip. Now don't let the hips come up in the center. Keep everything down. 10 seconds. Tip, tip. Six, five, four, three, two, one, done. Two more to go, guys. Head right back to your back for your windshield wiper. We have five minutes left. Now you know your options. 
I'm gonna bring myself over to the other side. I'm gonna go with bent knees again. Remember your options are straight legs. Three, two, one, shoulders down. Any tempo you like. I feel like a little bit of a back stretch here. Our lumbar. Six, good, six more. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, extend. We got the fun one. Straight, straight. I'm gonna tuck my right leg in first. Left arm. Ready? Here we go. Tuck, reach, open. I'm gonna let you focus. I'm not gonna talk on this one if it's throwing you off. Halfway. All the way up. Two more. Last one. Done. I hope we got it better that time. I know it takes practice. A lot of moving parts. Okay. Back to our plank rotation. Three, two, hip dips. Here we go. Here we go. Remember, when in doubt, just hold in plank on your forearms. Side to side. How deep can we get with control to bring it back? Keep it up, keep it up. Halfway. 10, push away from the mat, six, five, four, three, two, one, one, there we go. All right, guys, last time through, flip it over, bring it down, arms to the side, three, two, one, here we go, you choose. Five, six, again, choose your level. Last four, three, two, shoulders down, one. Sometimes we think it's easier to just let the legs drop to the side, but then there's no core. There's nothing working to keep it engaged and pull it back in. And then sometimes we go over too far and now our back is twisting and our shoulders are coming off and it doesn't feel so hot. Train smarter, not harder. Arms up, three, two, one. Pick a side, any side, here we go. I can see the end. Four. Halfway, trying to prevent, prevent too much of a swing in momentum when we come up, but really pushing through to get up and make contact. Three more. Two. And one. Flip it over. Last one, guys. Plank hip dips. Three. Two, one, pop it up, hold, or dip. This is our last 30 seconds of work. Side to side. 15. 15. Make it to the end, guys. Keep breathing. Strong body. Six, five, four, three, two, 
one. Push it back into child's pose. Breathe, relax. You made it through, guys. We are gonna finish with just a quick cool down. I want you to bring yourself forward into Cobra. Push away from the mat. Bring your gaze to, your, to the sky. It was quick. It was effective. We got it done. And push back. Head towards the floor, glutes towards the heels. Let's start letting that heart rate come down so that when we get on with the rest of our day, we're not feeling like we need to take a little siesta. Our heart rate is coming down comfortably so we can just get on with our day from here. Bring it forward one more time. Shoulders down, pushing back. Let's walk our hands over to the left. Big side body stretch from those side planks. Over to the right. All right, back to center, walk your hands in. Give me a nice good shoulder roll at the top. There was a lot of shoulders, I know. And that's all guys. Thank you for joining me today. You will see more coming from me, I'm sure. Again, Kalina here at Innovative Fitness. Have a great rest of your day. Take care.